top 10 deadly survival movies on Netflix. We absolutely love stories of grit, spirit, and human courage. A lot of these movies are also based on real life stories that make the death defying acts of the protagonists even more fascinating. Hey guys, welcome to your entertainment channel, Netflix Tops, where we tell you all about the top rated movies and series on Netflix. So grab your popcorn and stay with us until the end of this video, because in today's video, we are going to list down the top deadly survival movies on Netflix. So let's get started. Number 10. Based on the 2019 script Alone by Matt Naylor, a 2020 South Korean zombie film directed by Cho Il Hyung is titled Alive. It was released on Netflix on September 8, 2020. Critics generally gave positive reviews. Without any warning, people in the streets of Seoul become extremely violent, cannibalistic, attacking passers-by, behaving like zombies. A young man alone in his parents' fourth floor apartment becomes spectator to all of this. There's no groceries left in the apartment. He foolishly opens the door and a neighbor forces himself in. He's infected, but is finally forced out. The TV informs him that the virus is spreading nationwide. As the days pass, the phone and internet stop working, then the water's gone. When all hope is gone, he sees a cute girl in the apartment across from him. Number 9. The movie is set in a post-apocalyptic Earth where almost all of the human population has left our planet and moved to Jupiter's moon, Io. Io is a 2019 American science fiction film directed by Jonathan Helper. In this movie, Earth has been declared toxic, but scientist Sam Walden believes otherwise and still wants to find a way for humans to live on their home planet. She sends out a broadcast message one day to see if anyone who is still on Earth will come to find her. A man named Micah hears the radio transmission and visits Sam, but Micah is not at all convinced by her notions and believes that there is no scope for survival on Earth anymore. They both have a tough decision to make. Should they take the next shuttle, which is the last one to Io, or stick around to find a solution? Watch this amazing movie to find out. Number 8. Nobody Sleeps in the Woods Tonight is a 2020 Polish supernatural horror slasher film directed by Bortas M. Kowalski. The movie follows a group of teenagers whose lives revolve around technology. Therefore, they attend an offline rehabilitation camp in the forest with no access to their cell phones. While this might sound like bliss to many of us, that is not the case with the group, as a sinister force lurking in the forest threatens their existence. With the horror flick, this movie was among the most rented titles on Netflix USA shortly after its release. Number 7. Directed by Balthazar Kamakur, Adrift is a 2018 American survival drama film which is based on the 2002 book Red Sky at Morning by Tammy Oldham Ashcraft. Set in 1983 against the backdrop of Hurricane Raymond, Adrift is based on a true story of a couple who find themselves in the middle of the Pacific Ocean after the hurricane. The film tells the story of how they made it to Hawaii on a damaged boat with no radio. This film adaptation, directed by Balthazar Komakor, relives the account of Tammy Alderham Ashcraft and her fiancé Richard Sharp as they sail from Tahiti to San Diego. With various chilling shots of the small yacht surrounded by the blue waters, cinematographer Robert Richardson has done a tremendous job of capturing the loneliness of survivors in the open ocean. Number 6. Solo the plot of this one is very similar to that of 127 Hours. The film, too, is a true story of the survival of a near-death experience of a surfer who accidentally slides down a dune and crashes into the ocean, breaking his head and injuring his head. This movie shows that people who know that they're going to die soon start looking back and contemplating life to reflect upon all the things and people they took for granted, and the movie typically revolves around this. Number 5. If you're in the mood for some survival action movies and have watched almost all the others, How It Ends is perfect for you. Starring Theo James and Forrest Whitaker, it is a 2018 American action thriller film directed by David M. Rosenthal. The film follows a man's fight through an unfolding apocalypse in a desperate attempt to return to his pregnant wife, who is thousands of kilometers away. The movie is slow and light, unlike other movies of this genre, and will not make you anxious at all. So, with its twists and turns, this movie will surely chill you up. Number 4. Based on the 2011 novel of the same name by Adam Neville, The Ritual is a 2017 British horror film directed by David Bruckner. The film followed the story of four colleagues who reunite after a tragic death of their friend to hike through the Scandinavian wilderness, but their trip turns into a big nightmare. A group of friends reunite after a long time to plan a vacation and they finally decide to go on a hiking trip in Sweden. 
When one of them is injured on the way, they have no choice but to cut through the forest in order to arrive at the lodge a couple of hours sooner. A wrong turn leads them to the mysterious forest of Norse legend, where a storm comes out of nowhere, and during a raging thunderstorm, they spend the night in a spooky abandoned house, where an ancient evil exists and stalks them at every turn. After that, what awaits them are things they never expect out of this supposedly bonding trip. Number 3. Released during the holiday season of 2018, Bird Box was a sensation, bringing in a total of 89 million viewers and 64% score on Rotten Tomatoes. Adopted from the novel by Josh Melman, the movie stars Sandra Bullock as Mallory, an expected mother whose fears of becoming a parent are quickly set aside for an even greater terror. The scene in the movie in which Mallory and her children are seen making their way through the woods is one of the most iconic horror scenes. Susan Beer creates a constant sense of dread and tension throughout Bird Box, relying on good old-fashioned suspense and atmosphere over some flashy special effects. She also does a good job with her ensemble eliciting performances that keep you invested throughout the movie. Number 2. A 2021 American science fiction thriller film, Awake, directed by Mark Rasso, and it is a gripping thriller with a good twist and a fantastic medical plot device. The film follows the story of a global hysteria after a mysterious catastrophe hits the Earth. With humankind unable to sleep and think clearly, growing increasingly irrational and violent after an unprecedented global phenomenon that wipes out all the electronics, Jill, a former U.S. Army medic and widowed mother of two, finds herself struggling to keep her kids safe. Now, as scientists all over the world seem to fight a losing battle, the mysterious worldwide plague of insomnia threatens to eradicate the entire human species. And undoubtedly, this is the end of the world as we know it. However, what if Jill's 10-year-old daughter, Matilda, holds the key to the cure? Can sleep-deprived Jill protect her children when everyone has only a few days to live? The amazing plot of this movie has answers to all your questions. Number 1. Apparently, the first Netflix original movie from Sweden titled Red Dot is a 2021 drama thriller film directed by Elaine Dordor. For fans of hard and fast survival thrills, Red Dot is certain to satisfy your adrenaline needs. The thriller drama centers upon a couple, Nadja and David, as they go on a camping trip to see the Northern Lights. However, things don't go as planned as consequences of the decisions made in the past start to haunt their present. The snowy landscape and remote settings highlight the sense of danger and anxiety that the couple deals with. From being shot by various people to encounters with a wild bear, Nadja and David go through a lot in order to ensure that they survive. And this brings us to the end of the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing movie reviews coming your way. And thank you for watching.